Okay, let's retry example 6. Okay, example 6, consider x1, x2, x3 is a random sample for a population mean and variance. Okay, from this sample, there are two estimators are derived. So, call mu1 hat and mu2 hat. So, in this case, they give us in terms of function. Alright, in terms of function. Okay, the question doesn't give us in terms of numbers. If the question gives you the number, it will be easy. Let's say they give you mu1 equal to 10, mu2 equal to 20. So, you just take it 10 divided by 20 directly. So, it, this one will be easy. But now, we don't have the numbers. Okay, so before perform the solution, we have to recall several important properties of random variable. Okay, so... I give you uh, the common properties of mathematical expectation. Let A and C as a constant value. If you have the variance Cx, it will be C squared variance X. Okay? So, that's why I put a yellow color. Okay? For the constant value. Okay? We move outside. Okay? We move outside. Actually, originally... Okay, 5 is here. So now, we move outside. It's become 1 over 5 squared. Okay, then I simplify 1 by 1 where I put variance x1 only. Then variance x2 only. Variance x3 only. If you look at your uh, the yellow color, alright, so 2 become 4. 3 become 9. That is because of mathematical expectation. Alright. So now you can simplify. It will be 1 over 25. Variant x1. The value is sigma squared. How do we know? At the beginning of the question. And then 4. Variant x squared is also sigma squared. Variant x3 squared is also sigma squared. So... The last answer is 14 sigma squared over 25. The same process goes to the next solution. Okay. Where this one is. Okay. Variant x1 plus 3x2 plus x3. Over 5. <clears throat> then you move outside. Okay. You move outside. So, it's become 1 over 5 squared. Okay. So, remaining is variant x1 and then 9 variant x2. Why it's become 9? Because 3. Okay. 3 move outside. It's become 3 squared. So, that's why this value is 9. And then the last one variant x3. Then you replace variant x1 with sigma squared. 9 still 9. Variant x2 becomes sigma squared. Variant x3 becomes sigma squared. Then you plus all together. So this is the answer for variance mu hat 2. Okay, so next we replace the value into the formula. Variance mu hat 1 divided by variance mu hat 2. Okay, then the answer is 14 over 11. Where the values is larger than 1. Since the value is larger than 1, therefore mu hat 2 is more efficient than mu hat 1.